Hi everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos every week and we love it, all of you who have already subscribed. Mm, but those no. of you who haven't yet, you can hit that subscribe button now. In today's video, we're going to review the top 10 comments for our most watched video of October. Most watched video for October was drum roll. Americans react to Ronnie Barker's mispronunciation video, which took me by surprise. I've got to mm. say because we had done the other Ronnie Barker video right before this one. Yeah, I forget. We were looking at Ronnie Barker or maybe just Ronnie Corbett, and. Um, when I when we watched the mispronunciation video itself, mm. the sketch, we weren't like blown away. We weren't like, this is hilarious. I love this. Mm. We were kind of like, okay, it's clever. I like that. But yeah. we didn't get a lot of it. Yeah. Um, so we, I didn't think that the video would have done so well. Yeah, I must admit, I was surprised too. I, I don't know if it's that this is the target demographic of the channel or it's just YouTube. Picking the YouTube algorithm, picking it up. Okay, no more, baby. No more. This is, this is why we make videos with him taking a nap usually. <laughs> okay, you can you can sit there, be quiet though. Okay, so. Quiet. I still don't understand. Oh, so the... we're gonna read the top ten comments for this video because yeah. it had thirty thousand views, which is quite a lot, and we figured we should give props to people who commented on this video. Give so props. Ten, ten comments. Okay. Ten top comments. So I still don't understand how the YouTube comment ranking algorithm works, but here goes. This is all sorted by top comments first um, underneath the video. So the first comment that comes up, which I guess is the most, uh, the highest ranked comment. How many likes does it have? It's got 17 likes from... Like this one has 23. I know, and 31 here. I don't know. So I don't know how it does it, but I have no other way of organizing it the first comment comes from quiet life in sw hertz mm. i guess that's southwest that. Heart, heart, hertz that's for sure hertz for sure i don't know but he or she says ronnie barker one of our greatest comedy geniuses r.i.p mm. r.i.p so just he only died in 2007, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. that long ago, I feel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, number two comes from Martin. Is that Mowbray? Mowbray? Mowbray. Mowbray. I don't know. Mowbray? Mowbray? Martin Mowbray says, you really need to watch him in Porridge. Have we done a Porridge We have. Reaction? We watched Porridge, but... Um, the clip that we were reacting to was, was copyrighted put by BBC Productions, and mm. we knew that we would probably get blocked if we tried to react to that one. Mm. So we've we've only seen one little clip, and it was really it was quite funny. I think what we what were most impressed by is his accent, his okay. like low uh, low chastastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. His accent was really good. It looked like he was very genuine. So then that's what got us curious about his real accent. Mm. Yeah. Okay, number three is from Freddie Mac. And he or she says, the names were corruptions of those of public figures of the 70s and 80s. No wonder we didn't understand it. Mm. We wouldn't have known. I don't remember the bit where he did names in the sketch. Hmm. What was he doing? I don't remember. Hmm. It was a long sketch and very complicated. <laughs> okay. Uh, number four is from Red Squirrel. Oh. And Red Squirrel says, The great comics all had magnificent timing. Hmm. Ronnie Barker was one of them. I didn't hmm. feel like this sketch had timing in it, though, did it? I don't know. Is there good timing when it's just like a monologue? Hmm. Is there? I think there is still, mm -hmm. yeah. I think there is. Okay, number five comes from Rick La Tortuga. <laughs> Which means the turtle. In Spanish. <laughs> Rick the turtle. And he says, I think Ronnie Corbett gets overlooked a lot. Terrible joke, sorry. 
because he's short. Ryan uh-huh. Corbett is short. Oh, yeah. His monologues on the big comfy chair used to be pretty good. Yeah, maybe we'll react to that. Is that Ronnie Corbett's monologue? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So during their show, the Two Not Ronnie's show, mm-hmm. there's a segment where he's in a big comfy chair and he talks, tells a story oh, or see. something. Yeah. I see. The littler one, Ronnie Corbett. Number six comes from Ian King and he says, Ronnie Corbett never got the recognition he deserved. He was brilliant. Okay. So there's some Ronnie Corbett fanboys yeah. in the comments <laughs> sticking up for their favorite Ronnie. Number seven. I think that's, let's see, where's a one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Number seven is Ian Mays. Is that Mays or Mayes? Mays. Ian Mays says, try Ronnie Barker in open. Try Ronnie Barker in open all hours. We have heard that comment mm. a lot. Have we reacted to Have we seen any open all hours yet? No. Okay, so you guys have to leave us a link or else we won't be able to watch it. <laughs> Number eight link. comes from Marcus577. And he says, Ronnie Barker was also very good in open all hours. He was the owner of an yeah. old corner shop, played with David Jason, who later started I guess starred in Only Fools and Horses. Oh, cool. Got some history mm, there. Hmm, connection. <laughs> Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine. Number nine is from Richard Gatecliff Photography. Is that how you say that? Hmm? Richard Gatecliff, yes. Richard okay. Gatecliff Photography. I think he, we follow him on Instagram. And he says, I was lucky enough to see Ronnie Barker from his early beginnings. He is considered a national comedy treasure who is sadly missed. If you haven't done so already, you may find Professor Stanley Unwin equally entertaining. Another a person who's alive still? Is that what he's... I think that's a sketch another... or something or another oh, character. Equally entertaining. So a or is it another plays, person? I'm not sure. Person. I'm not sure. Leave us a link, please. We'll, we'll watch it. And last but not least is Carl Garner. He says... <laughs> At the beginning, they are laughing away, then suddenly they stop, turn, and stare at the camera. Very creepy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you should switch to it. Yeah. A lot of people have editing. commented on our intro video. This child. You want to go upstairs? I think what would be a miracle is if we could get Humphrey to do it too. Because mm. <laughs> I don't think he did that. He was no, just he was a baby just... Life. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's a little more more able. We should try it. Hey, do you want to try it? Doris, come sit on my lap, and we'll try and laugh, and then look at the camera seriously. Okay, ready? We're gonna, we're gonna that laugh way. that way, and then we look at the camera. Serious. That way. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> look, look, look over there. Look. into it. You're just looking down like, what is this? This is crazy family. All right. All right. That was a good try. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what other kind of reaction videos you'd like us to watch. And um, maybe we'll be reading your comment next time. And become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs> Say bye up here. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>